Okay, so we're going to start warming up the palm of your hand. Take a deep breath in here. This can be a chesty breath, that's fine. Take a deep breath. And another one. Keep going with the hands and one more. Okay, our first warm up, we lift the hand towards the ceiling, we look up and it tense the muscles, everything here is tensing the muscles. And then we become soft, 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 and we bow forward, and then we bend the knees, we come back up, take a deep in breath here, lift, and down. Just waking up the spine and up. Each time you grow taller, and each time here you deflate more. And up. And down. A little more squat between. And then softer here. So I'm going just a little bit more on that cocoa in here. Look. Here. And up. Two more. Let's get a little more physical into the movement now. So we do a little back bend. And then here we're going to hold a little bit longer and just pose. Boom. Notice. Let's get a little 
more from here. We are much more neck phase as we chain here. But really come up for air here, okay? So we actually going to lift the back, not back bend, but just up. And then leg here. Advance, if you can bounce one more time here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beginners, don't worry too much, you're probably just going side to side. Okay? Advance is going. You can all try, of course. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're going to work on the heel. So you just turn from here. I'm just turning the foot. And that's turning the heel. Keep grounded from here. So it's. Let's go off the beat, okay? Foot. your shoulders here, even if your arm is hanging here, it's better than tensing your arms. If you can keep your arms here, but relax, that's fine. Begin to just open and keep one posture. So you're really going like on tiptoes in the middle. Boom, two, three, one, three, six, seven, foot, no, legs. Then you go for that skiver here. Great. Come back. Skip on the side. Come back in this transition here. So I'm leaning forward. I first push, leaning forward, then the body turns. Yes. One. Use your elbow here. Two. Six. Seven. Good. Now the head. Legs. Then we hold in the center. Here we're going to go. So, quatro, the quattro. And come back. So, I'm going to do with my back to you. Be easy for you to follow. So, we go here. And come back. Stay upright here. Dois. I think you all have a chair at home, but some people train outside. That's absolutely fine. Just do your kick over something. But a chair is nice now to give a reference point. So I'm going to work meia lua de frente from a cocorinha. Okay? So we're working first. You can keep your chair there if you want. But for you to see me, we're working with this movement, the cocorinha, which is basically a squat here and here now I keep this motion let's keep your hands here with me so it goes there I'm gonna keep my legs as much as I can during this squat position pull the tummy in here but I'm going to just give a little swing side to side like figure of eight so I go right left keep going guys keep going left right it's a bit like this, look. If I have a ball in my hand, I'm just going there. You can see the figure of eight now. Mm. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ok? Hold on there. Now, although this is simple movement, it's from these movements that we create a lot of beautiful texture. Today's class is not so much about pointing out these things because we want to keep the heart rate working. But just to give you an indication, a simple movement like this, it is sometimes the generator energy for beautiful entrances of kicks. In fact, all these things that look quite nice, if I may say, they come out of these ideas, okay? And when you put it together with other things, the, the, the general picture looks very complex. But you start with a simple squat, all right? Now we're going to do this disco corinha with the meia lua de frente. So, the idea is, I go from here, just start basic, look, and then I kick the meia lua de frente. And there's a point where I'm on one foot. So here, I'm on one foot, of course, and I'm still on one foot, then I ground. My toes are turned out a little bit, okay, turn out, and we're going to go from here into meia lua, from here into meia lua. I'll do a few with my back to you, then I'll face you again. Okay, let's go. We're starting to really warm up now, yeah? Here. Now we go to a candidate. 
quatro, sombrinha. We're gonna start to warm up the body for our room. Today we have a challenge for bananeira. This first one is wide arm and then elbow. Not straight, narrow. So it goes from here, wide arm, and you jump, bringing the feet behind the body. The feet behind your body. Okay, let's start. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Now we're going to do a one way only. So let me show you, this is really fantastic exercise, okay? This, this train a lot of people that are not conscious of the side of the body. So now you do the awu and you walk back. I'm gonna talk you through as we do. We're gonna learn as we go along. Awu, come back. Awu, come back. Instead of side to side, like TikTok, it keeps going one way. This movement really teaches you I really, and I can say a lot about this because I did not invent this, so I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not saying anything with mine, but I think this movement is a game changer for a lot of people. It really is, okay? I'm picking up for a reason. So let's go. We are on the foot here. So then what happens is we do a U, and then we just walk back, look. But with time, you start to develop momentum. And you start to appreciate this part here. This. Yeah. If I could, if I had time to show you how many things happen because of this technique in a game that is so cool. When you go for a volé and you have to use this feet position. So let's just practice, yeah? Okay, so we are on our left foot. We go change and walk back to the left. Let's do like this for now. One. Dois. Três. A little more continuous now. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Advance. Kick your feet behind. Nove. Like someone is pulling you here, from here, then you go again, back, quatro, taque a chin in, cinco, seis, sete, oito, um, come back to here first, then move forward. Forward. If you have any issues with your knees, just go halfway. Look, just go halfway. One, cinco. This arm is just hanging here. Look, seis, sete, oito, nove. Change side. We're gonna go from here. Um. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez, change, rolê. Let's try this. I promise you it's not hard. You just have to follow me. So, 
here, switch, switch, hold it, here, right hand, in, Luis, hold it, left leg, in, Luis, advance, this whole leg is going to be that, not advance now, everybody, forget what I just said, everybody, we're going to go from here, into a push up, then it's up, down, e, un, dois, this is teaching us to go to the floor really low, look, here, up, pull, here, e, un, dois, use your arm here, down, up, use your knees if you cannot guys, I understand, if you cannot, go, knees, that's fine, then go to your feet, walk, back here, un, dois, três, gira, e subiu, um, dois, três, I'll do a little slower, up, open, right leg, all you have to do now is stay on your hand, look, stay on your hand, you see, I did not move my right hand, now I change, leg, hand, what? My computer's going crazy. Sorry about that. Okay. Right hand. So it goes um, dois, três, quatro. Then I go left. Keep your left hand there. Just change your feet. Look. Then I change again. Down. Subiu, up, lovely, okay, I think someone is trying to hack into my computer to start, it's too hard, stop, they have to do something so he stopped to change the music, yeah, I know, okay, now we need to stay in this position, cocorinha, or here, okay, and we're going to just, just do this on your hand, open and close, just that, we're going to get a little bit more warmed up for bananeiras, okay, dois, Três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, and faster. Três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Now, the bananeira challenge, guys, is that really classic bananeira of kicking the leg up. Okay, so our challenge today is 50. 50, five, zero. Yeah? So from here, Grip the floor, fingertips, like that's the floor, your finger, like a spider hand, that is in the, on the floor, and like a spider hand here, so you're gripping, okay, you're lifting the knuckles on the first knuckles here of your hand, and you're going to lean forward and kick your legs, so there's, a, a, there's actually three versions here, a beginner version, an intermediate version, an advanced version. As I often say, I don't like sometimes this thing. Oh, beginner. But obviously, I think it's important in this setup that you have different versions to work on. That also means that sometimes advanced person, maybe the day or maybe something happening in the body, that you have to do an easier version. I do this all the time. Not every time I train, I'm doing the hardest possible, not at all. I think it's important I explain that to you guys because there's an idea that the, the word advanced brings that pressure of having to do that. I've trained capoeira for 10 years, surely I must do that. Not at all. It's, it's the long term thing that is going to give you a capoeira. It's after 50, 60 years that you look back and all of those days that you had integrity in your training will transform your capoeira into a beautiful capoeirista. At the same time that when you look back in those days that you really pushed hard some days, I'm going to push hard today, come on, you know, that also is important. So it's, it's the common sense that comes with practice, yeah? All right, so uh, the first thing is to just lift your hip, like your tailbone, yeah? This is the most important part. And then if you can lift your hip, you lift your knees. And if you can lift your knees, you kick your leg up towards the ceiling. Cool? So I'm going to demonstrate, and then we're going to get straight into... Beginners, you can start off from here, okay? And just a little lift, that's good. Second thing, everybody should try to kick, just 
kick like this. I am going forward into a cabeçada and then kick. So I'm not doing from here. That's a bad mistake for this bananeira. Go forward and then kick. Alright, let's go and eh? prepare. Meditation zone now. Stay with me as much as you can now. Boom. Everybody did those 50s bananeras. I have a little treat for you at the end of the class because I've been watching you. Been watching you in a workshop you did, yeah, some of you, of course, not all of you. And I found uh, that I detect a major issue on all of your vortical persimmons. Yeah, all of your I was just there writing. And I said, I'm making notes, people going, ah, yeah, I did. So anyway, I'm going to show you something that is really cool for Volta Per Sim that everybody can do, okay? It's a homework, but let's keep practicing a little bit more. So now the next part of the sequence, it's when we add this bananeer idea with the Hap Jahai. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Olha só que legal. I do meia de frente. Then from here, do you remember we did this? Yeah, so we are still in this diagonal now. This leg, lower, like I'm going to do the movement. I do a little bananera, and then I land to do my half jahaya. Now, there will, be a there will be a time change there. Because some of the advanced will have more control in that movement. Here we go again, talking about advanced beginner. 
but some of the beginner will not. So I know I have a good, I have, I have, I can't speak English, I have a very good thing for that, which is the advanced do two habja hires. That means that there's more time for the beginners to reset for the next movement. Okay, so two habja hires for advance, one habja hire for beginner. Okay? Again, I'm going to do with my back to you, and then I will do facing as well, so you can get different details. Alright, 50, 50, 50. We're going to increase slowly those bananeras, okay? We have a new challenge as well, setting up this week, because I got a video today from Magia. Magia said, Master, I finally did 500 kicks. I said, that's very good, I'm very proud, but now we're going to bring to 700. Yes, 700. Not today, but this, this week, yeah, write it down. Okay, let's go. Start slow, yeah? Lea lua. Little bananera. Land. Project your body this way. Then you are back here, look. Kick. Advance two. Change. Um. This leg doesn't touch the floor now. Dois. And kick. Let me show you a very beautiful change. I really like this change. I need to, I want to show you this. You know we finish like this. It's like you go for the front leg. I go for the front leg. Look. You see? Boom. Boom. Dois. Now my left leg in front, I go to the left, look. That's it, it's that simple. Here. Um. A banha laranja no chão de cutico. Now I go to the right, look. Dois. Base, 
right leg in front, right hand on the floor. Remember we did the strength here. Now we lift the hip. Back to the base. something then any movement that really gets your heart going in either way whether it's aerobic or anaerobic I like to do something that is focused at the end so example when we do lots of fast kicks we do a handstand at the end or when you do a punch that your body is going mad after like you just find just anything okay this is a martial arts ancient philosophy not just in capoeira you can see look at Kung Fu next time when you see they doing a demonstration it's so beautiful when they finish, you watch them performing Kung Fu, yeah? I'm um, not just show Kung Fu, real Kung you know, you watch the, you can watch Shaolin Monk. And when they, at the end, there's something, right? There's something that brings them back. It's not like, yeah, that was tough. Don't do that. You don't use that body language. And that's going to come back to the hog as well. There's a moment in the hard if you show the other one, oh yeah, I've gone now, that's it. Believe me, this is not just philosophy. That's when they catch you. By being able to compose at the end of a movement that took all of your energy or, or whatever, brings more energy into the body straight away. Straight away you tell yourself, I'm alright, I'm okay. Okay, I did something hard. And basically you're telling yourself, like, okay, so what? Well, I did something hard, I can do again. And that's much better than do something hard and reinforce that thing. Oh my God, poor me, I did something hard now, I'm, you know. Leave that for when it's really like last drop, you know, your body's, you need to lie down. That's fine, there is a moment to completely surrender the body, of course, okay. I have to keep going guys, because we still have a few more today, but I'm keeping the pace not too fast today, so that means the class goes really quick. So the next is a variation from the same movement we are doing, okay. Now, what you realize as well with this is the idea of momentum, which I use a lot. When you're coming down from the bananier, 
the body moves in, it's, that's why I said this is very cool because there's something about readjusting the fall with the leg so there's a momentum coming down and that momentum you then you are directing your momentum this is what I mean by that as you come down from the bananera here what you're saying you're saying I don't just I don't just collapse you're saying leg can you go behind so I can kick you are threading momentum I'm gonna say that again because I think it's brilliant <laughs> you are threading momentum okay so now we're gonna go something a bit more grounded yeah so it's the same idea we go me a little different me a little different and then we go here advance gather the hands and then we come back to three and we go here um dois três um dois três okay all right let's go i'm gonna put the music i'm gonna to start with beginner version so beginners can see how you can train this and then advance follow me and then going to catch the hinks here we go <laughs> because these are the things that with time if I can persuade you <laughs> that with time these are the things that I can rebuild on as you get be more intelligent in this style I can build on this let me show you what I mean by this while you're catching your breath and making your notes uh, this is what I mean again a simple thing remember I told about this here here that could be really beautiful look Look at that beautiful entrances. And then this here, when you finish a kick, here, this idea of going to this leg, it's so cool because here, 
your body starts to crawl, starts to dance and swing. So again, by repeating, leg behind, fall there, kick again, leg behind, fall there, kick again. But it needs to be, you know, not just today, but it needs to be a big amount. So I don't even need to say anything, it's in your body, all right? Now, because we're running out of the time slightly, we're gonna go to the Volta Porcima thing. So everybody, you need to see my, my long hair now. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> veja bem so uh, one thing that we need to work on is this I'm gonna go straight to the point okay so we're gonna build up together you can go with me straight away or just watch I would say it's fine to do with me straight away so I'm in so from here your hand so if you are exact like me you're gonna place your right hand on the floor and you're gonna bring the hand again, turning this way, this way, like hitchhike here, look, hey, I'm going that way, and your hand goes there. Okay, bring your left hand, you should just, it could almost touch your elbow here. That's too far for now, but if you can touch your elbow, you're definitely too close. I would say go farther. Now the point that I saw was to do with the head position. So I want you to tuck your chin in more than you should. It's gonna feel strange. It's gonna feel strange. I want you to tuck your chin in from here and keep looking to the right side. And beginners, you're going to just stretch your knees towards the floor. That's why I sound funny now because I'm choking here. So you stretch your knees towards the floor and keep the hand there. So it's a, it's a weird stretch. Now lift your thumb on the right hand side. So just the side of your hand just the side of your hand is touching the floor. It is a weird position. Go in there, see if you can maneuver now on the side of your hand, tuck your chin in, and come back up. Okay, let's do the other side. Left hand on the floor, tuck your chin in. So I'm gonna do it here so you can see on this way. If it's too hard, maybe go a little further from your feet. Keep choking, tuck your chin, stretch your hand, knees going towards the floor. Your knees can be wide open, wide open. And tuck your chin in and keep going there. Then come back by lifting your knees. Beginners, maybe you want to go into here. Let's do one more on each side now. For the advance, it's all about the head, as I was saying. You're going to continue tucking your chin in. And you're going to go all the way into here. And maybe just lie down for now. Just lie down, relax the body, turn to the left. We're very much at the end of the class. We can take this as a stretch, okay? Put your left hand on the floor. Tuck your chin in. As if you had a pencil underneath your chin, you could hold that pencil. That's how much I want you to press this way. And then just hold it there, beginners. Advance, I want you to keep going with the chin like that, and then hand goes first, just lie down, turn side. Let's do two more this time for the advance, we go all the way without touching the head on the floor. The point of this is that the back of your head does not touch the floor. The back of your head does not touch the floor. So let's go, tuck your chin in, lift your thumb, like you're going cool, thumbs up, thumb up. Now you're gonna tuck your chin in, stretch your hand, stretch your arm, keep tuck in. Come out on the other side. You should be pretty doable for all levels, okay? All the way. Left hand, lift your thumb, and then we're gonna go here, stretch, tuck your chin in. Come out on the other way. Okay, turn around. Little shake on the legs from here. Back of your feet. Okay, so the idea uh, for most of the class was the meia lua de frente. Let me show you a, a couple of those transitions. So you went from here to here, from here to here, from here to here to here to there. From here, there, bananera. Look how many you've done of the same movement. From here to there, queda de rins. Okay? 
And we have a few more variations, unfortunately for today. I chose Take a deep breath in there. 